From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen and he's Joe Stapleton. Hello, my bay leaves. That is a typo in the teleprompter. Tonight, we pick up where we left off last time here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. And Chris, where did we leave off? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. no. Well, Doug Polk rivered a 40K pot versus the richest and happiest guy at the table, Jeremy Kaufman. Let's just throw the chip counts up on the screen, shall we? These guys, Doug's the only one winning. It's the same cast of characters as when we paused last time on day one here at Seminole Hard Rock on Poker Night in America. I've proclaimed this before, Phil Locke is my favorite TV poker player. When you add in the likes of Dean, Lance, Casella, Polk, and two very wealthy amateurs, I must ask, where is our dang Global Poker Award? Blinds are 25 and 50. You're gonna see a lot of optional $100 straddle tonight, too. On our last hand last time, Jeremy Kaufman got rivered Big time by Just Doug Polk and, and ended up uh, being felted, but yeah, bought in and was giving it the old college try yet again. I told you Jeremy Kaufman would be back. He never quits. Deep with sevens, makes it 500 with sevens. Is Doug covering his face in embarrassment over that last hand? I hope so. He should be. If you haven't seen the episode, go back and rewatch the last three minutes. It might make you puke. I didn't even attempt it. Jeremy Kaufman calls. Matt Clance is involved down at the other end of the table. He also called. Flop is 7-5-4. Deeb flops a set. Absolutely nothing doing for Kaufman or Glance. Coming in. Coming in hot. It's fun stealing the money. That's one of my favorite ways to win pots. Honestly. Stealing is You know what I say, though, Chris? Always bet your sets. Sometimes you're going to get folds on boards like this, but other times you're going to build a pot. And check it out. We are building a pot. Kaufman calling with 3% equity. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Coffin drawing dead. Checks to Deeb. Deeb's going to like this ace. Coffin's going to peel a lot of times with uh, an ace in his hand. Hands like ace king and ace queen. Coffin's going to expect that Deeb would bluff at this ace a lot, also. And there's a call from Coffin. Drawing stone dead. Man, just not believing what Sean Deeb is telling him. What he does. Matt and Frank Don't play that. angry. <laughs> Don't play angry. Sean's definitely not folding. The question is, will he raise? He's raising. What did you say about a mothership? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just heard mothership. Jeremy, like don't re-bluff. This is the time where you're How supposed to How can you do fold. that? That's not fair. In six <laughs> words, you, <laughs> you fold now. Now. Like, and now. You guys heard the word mothership, right? Everyone else heard that? It was like 40 pits. Mothership, yeah. download. <laughs> I was seeing if like, it would come up again, but then it just didn't. So like, I think he's just going to make this look good. But you waited for him to start talking about photographing behind walls it, it before just you like interrupted that so train far, of thought with mothership. You're free to fold whenever you want here, Jeremy. I think he's probably just rethinking his entire life right now. Oh. He called. Oh, my goodness, he called. Flopped it. Oh, I don't feel good what? about this at all. in the wide, wide world of sports <laughs> is that? Damn, that's not going to look good on TV, Jeremy. Holy crap. Please have the low straight one time, Jeremy. He seems genuinely sad now. Oh. Bad luck just seeing a thing like that. <sighs> no, that's not going to look good on TV. Move on. Get right back at it here, partner. Is that a straddle, Doug? It's a straddle. We got the straddle and the restraddle in play here. Well, this is really opening up the game, this restraddle. People are just saying. Go <laughs> <laughs> on, have, have you looked yet? No. If you, if, I'll flip with you if you want. What does that mean? You flip put it. in a random amount of money that you choose blind. And then oh, you just run it up. Let's play poker. You, you got, got it. Yeah. On. You got it. <laughs> I've got Jeremy, you. Jeremy, probably not your on, best financial no, decision. No, on flips. No, no, you got it. On flips, obviously, if it, we're just talking about luck, it's no, luck. Did you just go, like, was that live pro? Like, I'm out? too lucky. Jeremy, if, if I'm too lucky, there's not much you can beat me with. <laughs> I've been watching those videos. That's I mean, true. the poker guys. <laughs> the one that no one that. watches the poker guys. Sounds like he really took a lot in. He really absorbed a lot of that information from the poker guys. A little stronger this time? Well, you know. Tug The tug tag is fair. So what are you looking for? Well, Kaufman is ahead. Flop is 5, is 10, you? Jack. Boom. What he's thinking. 
998. Jeremy does have the best hand. Doug Polk never folding. It's wet. What? A wet board? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make it 3,000. Okay. All right. I hear you. Jeremy, you can fold. <laughs> You have the best hand, but you can fold. Oh, I really know? thought that that was going to get a fold. Nah, 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 nah. He ain't about that fold yeah, life. We'll, we'll find oh. out. Five on the turn changes nothing. I'll check to the um, aggressor for the aggro. And when I say that, I mean agronomist. <laughs> I'm going to take a river here. River's a queen. Doug Polk is now ahead. Ace high, no good anymore. 5K. Betting a quick call. Oh, God. <laughs> just, just show me the black. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, was, I thought I was so dead there. We'll be right back with more of the greatest show on right now. What are we up against? Uh, actually, I think it's the good doctor. Okay, phew, you're safe. That kid's a fraud. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back from what I can only imagine was a life-changing ad about the exciting benefits of a reverse home mortgage. Glenn showed uh, up. Oh. Matt showed but up out of nowhere. He was peeing up. in the corner. I was. I they were trying to do this. Honestly, Matt, 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 what Matt happened is they, were, they didn't know it, but for the sake of fun and in the short term, they were trying to trigger the future switch no, no, no. in <laughs> the brain back here. <laughs> they were trying to get it. <laughs> we're, we're still on it. Right? frenzy. If I ever go on a multi-dimensional adventure, I'm taking Phil Locke with me. He would be the best guy that there would be to do that, yeah. All right, so we're I think he's been through well, many dimensions. He and I are going to unlock the key of time. Lance made it 1100 with his ace king. Really? How much? 1100. Hoffman, I guess, seemingly is just going to play every hand. You know, we can't talk about what the colors are in the hand against people because then they might get some clues. Flop is five, ace, seven. Why are we? Because I would have, I would have won. And I'm happy about that bet. too. We didn't yeah. bet. Lance <laughs> bets 900. Kaufman obviously not folding a pair in backdoor hearts. He does call. Here we go with the turn. Two pair now for Glantz. Almost no chance Kaufman catches up. Dead to a seven. You've seen Jeremy calling off all kinds of bets, so there's no reason to check. Have you ever seen a bar fight where one guy just keeps getting pummeled and you just keep thinking to yourself, stay down. Yeah. Stay down. That's how I feel watching Jeremy Kaufman most of the time. Stay down. Stop fighting back. <laughs> Just fold. Maybe he's due. I'm nervous for these guys. I don't. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. I don't think anyone. He rivers a flush. The, the, this table, like net worth relative to the stakes, is actually extremely high. Now the question is, will Kaufman pay off another bet? I'm gonna just say like <laughs> pretty fair guess. But just like there's Call. not one person. Oh, he called. Maybe he needs a reboot. You talk to Phil about that. He'd probably hook you up. That a reboot, yes. A reload, no. That made sense. Once he turned over the ace king, then the whole ace thing king. made sense. That <laughs> 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 made perfect sense. That's funny. You did know after Poor you Jeremy Kaufman. Poor, rich Jeremy Kaufman. And you will sit this hand out, thank you. Those are the five three diamonds have been so bad. Action back to Sean Deeb on the button Zero, with nine two, three. three. That is no good. Ace eight of clubs, that's pretty good. Like a, Out of the small blind for Glance. Poker at a glance. Well, some Matt Glance. Then you a sellable fold. After you knew right away, you just didn't want to have a fold. Right. A dominated so ace. That happened like that. Yeah. Falls. yeah. I sometimes call anyways because I'm curious. But it's like, you know. You know. Stream makes it so much ace easier to make Deuce big five. Goals. That that's dominated cool. ace is looking rather pretty right now. Ew. Top and bottom two pair for Friedman. Oh, no. Oh, he just got Kaufman. Yeah. <laughs> if you turn over the ace of diamonds, you'd immediately wonder, was it a queen? You have to then wonder the other side. Avi calls. Obvi. Ob. Or on the river. Uh, glances. 
Ooh, he's gonna check. And Avi is not gonna make the same cautious play that Glantz made, being that there's a four card straight out there. A lot of hands like a beat. I don't know if Friedman thinks he's bluffing or value betting here. Four in the river is never good for me, apparently. Okay, back to the board. I have, I have top two. Seven, nine. Did not low. You think Avi immediately starts sweating once Glantz says he has top two? Instantly, he's, his skin is burning. He's like, oh, shh. 5 4. Ace four. Ah, there's the call. So I funny, you think you're value betting the river. He says, I have top two. You're like, I'm bluffing. I'm bluffing the river. From what I hear, Stapes, they have a really nice pool area at this place. <laughs> Oh, they do. Yeah, it is nice. I've seen it from my room. Yeah, I was just going to say the exact same thing. I've seen it from my hotel room. I've seen it lit up at night when I've stumbled back to my hotel room and then saw it in the morning when I woke up questioning life decisions, but I've never actually been out there. I think if you had gone out there, you'd question even more of your life decisions. That's so. true. It is real hot. Real, real hot. That's not what I was thinking, but it's all right. You're too innocent, Hanson. The Polk made it 300, and now Glance is trying to raise it up to 1,100. Oh, he's not trying. He's succeeding. He put out 12, but then he pulled it back to 11. Is that allowed? Well, if he runs the game, of course he can do whatever he wants. Well, because then it's like half a week, right? Especially if you're yeah. playing three days and three three hours. Casella actually made it 3,000. Oh, my God. So brutal. So brutal. Take it. Take it all. No, I actually don't take all of it. <laughs> Take just those. Just take that amount. He's not saying about the fact that he has the fold. He's saying about the fact that Kaufman wasn't in the hand. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> what does he want to do with the 12 to 11? We're watching them like trying to do the hand. Clance yeah. just calls with Ace King. Ace, 10, 9, what a flop. Top pair, top kicker for Glantz. Bottom set for Casella. We are going to see some chips move into the middle. 4,000 the best from Frank Casella. Lance does have some hands to worry about. He's got to worry about sets of nines and tens for sure. He's got to worry about ace ten. There's the call. We got quite the pot brewing. 14,000 in the middle. The turn is a club. Oh boy. Plenty for them both to be worried about now. Clubs, straights, bigger sets. Nine thousand. Sella correctly keeping his foot on the gas. And also, I mean, as a, as a redraw, if he needs it for Casella, you, know, you got the clubs, the board compare. I mean, all kinds of good here for Casella. And if you're Matt Glantz, man, your ace king is so small. Please show bluff, bluffski. He couldn't have the nuts, that's for sure. Lance makes a rare fold of top pair. And Casella wins a real nice pot. King eight of clubs almost three bed touchdown. Thanks. Thanks. If this were the greatest show on earth, well then that makes Chris Hansen, P.T. Barnum, and the table is Deadwood, South Dakota, and Jeremy Kaufman are the gold in the Black Hills. And the person who wrote this, definitely confused, P.T. Barnum with E.B. Farnham from Deadwood. You're an idiot. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, season six, episode 41. Segment three. Ah, oh, that's specific. Don, would you have that hand? <sighs> curious, Matt? Well, I had a big hand, so I was curious. I, I had two pair. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right, Sean Deeb's gonna straddle going as we get started with this hand. Aces? Jacks. Oh, yeah. Oh. From Seminole Hard Rock, Hollywood, Ace. Florida. It's unbearable. Sella raising Ace Jack. Yeah, Friedman's in with 10 9, but pocket queens for Jeremy Kaufman. Will he finally find a way to win? Finally drag a pot. Well, it hasn't been because he's not trying, I guess. 1,100. Wait, I forgot to ask. How much are you playing? <laughs> a lot. A lot! A lot! Are you asking me or Avi? I'm just kidding. That's just my fear-inducing question. 
Are you scared? Fear. No, I'm not scared. Adios. I feel like he's got me dominated. So potentially, sure. Kaufman got the better of the two hands to fold. Let's see what happens after the flop. Ace 10 would have been good. So good thing Casella folded. At the moment, Kaufman is way out in front. Friedman did hit middle pair on the flop. Thousand. Now the bet is a thousand for Kaufman. A swift call. Turns a nut. Oh no. <laughs> it's a nine. Two pair for Friedman. I mean, I don't have a ton of sympathy for Kaufman if he bets again here. I mean, what does he think is calling him on the flop anyway? And pre-flop? I check. There he goes. He checks. OK. Now I'm back to having a little sympathy for him. 1,500 the bet. Friedman makes a pretty small bet. And I actually really like this bet sizing because I think Kaufman's hand is kind of face up at this point. He doesn't like the ace. For sure. So he's gonna have queens or jacks or kings a lot. Ten nines doing great against all those hands and sure. is absolutely smashing everything now. Only he's not beating his pocket aces. That's the thing about pocket pairs. It's just one pair. I had ace jack. That's a jack. <laughs> yeah, jack would have been better. Whatever amounts just continues you would have put in the pot, downward I was just spiral. Gonna be like, okay, I'm getting those. <laughs> <laughs> those are mine. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> you never know. Hoffman in with sixes. In the back of my head, I was I, I could hear, it's beginning to look a lot Love. like Christmas. Love. And you're like, all right, one case, get some five case. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy has chips. <laughs> <laughs> They're really just your chips. Good bet, Phil. <laughs> yeah, you thinned it out. Check. Another five on the turn. 2,000. Don't. Um, oh, no. Up to 7,000. That was one exhale. Wow. That was like the longest exhale ever. Getting through Avi felt good, huh? I exhaled before he folded. I'm only thinking about you. I'm stacking those <laughs> chips there. Oh, uh, have you crushed too? I'm, I'm, I just play bad, I guess. You want the whole thing, right? You want seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, no. twelve. You want no. twelve thousand no. two hundred and a quarter. You can keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, you're, you're a boss. You're a total boss, Jeremy. <laughs> How do, keep those chips. how do you do Hopefully it? You haven't beat. How do you do it? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, though, the Jeremy factor. You know what I'm saying? Like, he put in, like, over half his stack and then told me he can keep the undo. <laughs> 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 he's got pocket sixes. Although he's kind of playing poker the way we all should. I mean... Like we don't care about the money and we have no children to feed? Exactly. I can't believe you got that through, Jeremy. You know, just, hey, am I having a good time? Yes. Can I afford this? Yes. <laughs> what did you fold, Phil? That's all. You had King Jack, I had Queen Jack. Oh my god, you had pocket sixes and he just takes it down. So on. <laughs> what was the flop? Jack five jack three. Five, five. You see the hand? Or jack five. Oh, no five. hand. Jack has five three. Already bored with Jeez. This already. Oh my god. Oh. Click, Turn click, five. left, left. Bet. Raise. He has, he has King Jack? Under okay. the gun. Uh, we just yeah. saw it, Doug. King, King Jack lets it go. Queen King. Jack lets it go. Pocket sixes take it down. Oh my god, you're an animal, Jeremy. How? Rawr. Two people in the same hand for the top pair of Jeremy. He got it because of the XL. Casella versus Polk. Polk outflops Casella. But they do realize that you are Jeremy, right? 500 I, I forgot it. I temporarily dollars. forgot. Like, I just thought you were a poker player. I was like, OK, I see what he's trying to represent. But then again, like, you're Jeremy. Mm -hmm. So like, if they have a jack, they're just going to click call. And you got to do two people with a jack. And then you give like a big sigh when like this guy was about to fold. Oh and then you talked your way out of it. I checked, by the way. With 100 and, and the, thing. You talked your way out of it and then told him they could keep 100. Casella does retake the lead by turning the set Polk picks up the flush draw, though. There is no better feeling in poker than turning a set. 
Oh, I've hoodwinked again. I I'm going to call the hand that I think has you. Never set. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I had two pair. Uh, how would you wow. think that's good? That's good. <clears throat> <laughs> High five? Yeah. How do you uh, think he got yeah. all of his money? How about a high five? Now? How about a high five? Poker Night will be back after these brief messages. These messages about adult briefs. Have you made that joke before? I'm Honestly, sure. I have no idea. This is like episode 204 of Poker Night and 650th time we've thrown a break, and this is only one of seven shows I commentate on. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, where it is time to wrap up things for the night, and let's take a look at the final chip stacks. Matt Glantz is the big winner, up over 44,000, followed by Sean Deeb and Frank Casella, who each won over 23K. Check out Doug Polk in the red 19,000. That doesn't happen very often, and Jeremy, sweet. Jeremy Kaufman, 69,000. I'm not even upset, to be honest. I'm, in, I'm impressed. It's, uh, it, it really takes work to get to that number, doesn't it? Well, now, well that was fun. What do you say we watch another one? Get comfy. It's called a click hole. Don't worry. No one's going to tell your boss.